if you're about my age, then you'll be familiar with Columbo. Now, Columbo, Columbo is one of my favourite all-time detectives. Probably the world, world roundy. Everybody loves Columbo. Uh, and over the years, you know, you keep watching it over and over again. It, it's something you can go back to, even on a Sunday. If it's on, I'll, I'll watch it, even if it's just to fall asleep to. I'll watch it. I just, I've always loved them. I used to buy, I used to have a, a lovely Columbo t-shirt. Uh, it's got holes in it now, but I still treasure it um, because I really did love Columbo. Um, and I never thought it'd be replaced, you know, as a detective show to watch. Um, but I came across one that's just been released on Netflix. I'd never heard of it. I, uh, I only found out because it was new to Netflix and I banged it on just to because it said it was a detective with OCD so I thought I'd give it a go and you know what I think it matches Columbo I really do I think it does it's called Monk and if you haven't give it a go I think you should because it's a detective with OCD he's as much as a, he's a bit of a loony bin. Um, he suffers with anxiety, OCD, phobias. He's absolutely mental, but very intelligent. And unlike Columbo, where Columbo was very intelligent, but came across as a bit, or tried to act a bit thick, so people, you know, looked down on him and didn't perceive him as a threat. Well, Monk does the same kind of thing where he gets the people to look down upon him um and he's just absolutely brilliant in the show i think he they make the actual detectives in the show the actual police force look a bit stupid um because they never solve anything um it's always monk solving it but as a show itself it's absolutely brilliant and i would definitely definitely give it a go there is a movie apparently. Um, can't get that in the UK. Uh, I have tried because I flew through all eight seasons of Monk. Um, each one is watchable. Um, one thing I did like is the first four seasons, they did the old, the way Columbo used to do it, where it's not a murder mystery. You know, you know who the murderer is at the very beginning. They tell you, but you see the murder, you know who it is, kind of thing. And then you're working it out. The whole show is you watching him work it out, which is what Columbo used to do. But in the second half, the four, the, the four seasons after, um, they turn to you not knowing. And that makes it even better because you're trying to work it out. And a lot of the time, sometimes you don't know who it is. You think it's one person and it's not. And that has been missing from TV for a long time. Now, I know America's had it all this time, but I'd never heard of it. I'd never seen it, and it's totally new to me in the UK. But I blitzed through eight episodes, loved it to pieces. If you haven't seen it, and you're from the UK, and you've got Netflix, and you love Columbo, give it a go. It is worth it. It is an enjoyable TV. Absolutely enjoyable TV. Uh, so from me, gets a an 8 out of 10, only for the reason of the <laughs> they make the actual police force in it look stupid. It's like they never solve anything. They just rely on Monk to do everything, which I think is a bit silly. You know, they should have given a few episodes where the police actually solve it rather than Monk. Um, but other than that, the guy who plays Monk, I've only ever seen him in one thing before. And I couldn't figure out when I was watching it where I'd seen him from. And then I remembered it was from a movie called Galaxy Quest, which is one of the greatest movies ever made. Um, and he plays one of the main stars in that uh, who falls in love with an alien, if I remember rightly. Um, but yeah, absolutely brilliant. Give it a go. Give it a shot. Tell me your thoughts. Tell me if you've seen it. Tell me what you think. Tell me if you agree. If you don't agree, that's fine. Like, subscribe, all the nonsense, and I will see you in the next one.